No. Open the page. I don't want to hear you say that. Put that umbrella around the one to take it off you. Warum? John Duggan has just completed his NQT year at Lambton School in Hounslow. He switched careers after becoming dissatisfied with working as a research assistant in biotechnology. John has been working hard on structuring his lesson plans and has invited John Bailey into the classroom to help him improve his technique. So, last lesson we looked at food and the digestive system. Um, and kind of we know, should know roughly what nutrients. Now we're going to look at is how the body gets food from our nutrients. Today he's organising a mixed ability class, 8S, to work in groups. So that's going to have, for example, the mouth, the stomach, so it's got different pictures on it showing you different parts of the digestive system. I want you to find information on that section. What we're going to do is we're going to be moving around and you're going to be teaching each other about the different sections. So if you've got a stomachache, what happens? <laughs> Sometimes what can happen, you can have too much acid in your stomach, and that's when you get heartburn, so it gets too acidic. And that's why I always have heartburn. Yeah. Now we're actually going to be coming on to enzymes later here, but what you can do is you can actually have a look about focusing a little bit on enzymes. So if you want to add some of this in, feel free. Okay? Okay, because Harris is going to do it. And you've got one more minute to write your notes. Where's your notes, Dad? Have you done this before, working this way? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. What's good about it? Um, you can learn what much more if you cover one thing and then other people explain it to you. Fantastic. I thought it was a good lesson. Um, I thought it had pace. Um, and you took the learning through um, a whole number of different stages and you gave them a lot of work to do. And your objective of them understanding um, how the digestive system worked uh, was pretty well met yeah. uh, by the end of the lesson. So it just goes through the small intestine and then goes around and out. I was quite happy with the pace of the lesson. I think um, generally they're doing well. The only thing I, I don't think I got that I wasn't sure um, in terms of um, maybe some of the lower level students, how well had they got it. Yeah. So we can't find any information on the esophagus. On the esophagus? Yeah. So the gullet, so the gullet is here, the esophagus is this pipe that takes it down from the mouth to the stomach. The gullet. In the groups, what do you want them to be doing? What's an ideal table going to be doing? Ideally, what they'd be doing is like reading it through and discussing it together and then deciding what they're going to put down. Because, like you said, ideally, what I didn't want was for them to copy the block from the book. Yes. But then, with some, I, I think students, especially ones that are a lot less confident, that's what they're going to do because they know then they're like, well, I've got my information. But they've probably written it without understanding. Food is chained up with strong acid. Yeah, if we were in a primary school, there would have been timekeepers, people in charge of pace, people in charge of writing the notes, someone in charge of making sure all the task was done, and there might have been a sheet up on the whiteboard saying, uh, discuss the points, this will take you three minutes, then put the points into bullet points, this will take you another three minutes, and then um, uh, rehearse yeah. uh, what you're going to say. I think that would have been useful, actually. This is what I wanted to do. This is, so then, as well, they know what the end product they should get. At the end product, I should have in my page bullet points on this, um, yeah, no, I think, that'd be, I think that would be useful. Because okay, one of the things, I, I, I just want to say in brackets, one of the things that I see you doing is you're planning misbehaviour out of the lesson. Uh, there's pace, they've got things, they, you know, they, they know what they're meant to be doing um, every minute of the yeah. lesson. And you could do even more of that. All of you should have a rough idea of what's going on, but now all of you have specialised in one section. You're going to have well, about a minute, minute and a half to explain your organ then the other side's going to do it, and then you're going to rotate around to the next group. Off you go. The stomach, the food is churned up by strong acid. Contraction in the stomach in the nice is... What's that say? Enzymes break up food. And it's Enzymes break up food, and it's got a pH of 1 to 2. Food that we cannot digest goes into the large intestine where water is removed. This forms more solid materials called faeces, pronounced faeces. Faeces are stored in the victim. They are eventually pushed out of the anus. 
Next, the children complete a worksheet to check that the learning has sunk in. Fantastic. Where's the arrow pointer? Go for it. OK. C, where, where are faeces stored? C, where are faeces stored? What do you think of? Tell me what faeces are. Faeces are... Tell me what they are. OK. Faeces are stored in the rectum. Faeces... Well, faeces is poo. Faeces are stored in the rectum. And they're eventually pushed out the ends. OK, and then there's your countdown. Now, he's an important target in this, isn't he? Because I guess he's distractible, and I, I should imagine he can be a bit of a... He can give you some behaviour. Yeah. Uh, uh, if, if he wants to rock and roll, you probably have a bad day. Uh, I'd give him as an example as a, of a hider. You've done all this stuff. All these kids are circulating around. They're explaining stuff to each other, but what's he doing? He's been thinking about the weather. Yeah. Uh, how do we get to him? Yeah, I mean, Adele's a, a very uh, interesting one, actually, because I think he... I've been doing quite a lot of work with him. He's actually quite... Uh, he's quite bright, but um, I think... Yeah, I mean, in terms of... That, and that's, like you say, one of those... How do you make sure that those pupils um, have got it? Sean, where's the esophagus? Um, down his throat. Let me so, give you three or four ideas. Uh, number one, we could use more frequent plenary activities at various points during the lesson. Uh, there's some jeopardy that arises for him. Yeah. Um, he knows he might be called um, to account. Um, another way that we might do it is we might wonder whether he's a child who would be responsive to a bit more kinesthetic activity. Because I notice there's a, there's a whole range of activities going on here, but no one's got their hands dirty. I expect you've seen the, you've seen the, the, the other version of this lesson. Uh, where you roll up with a can of beans and a plastic bag and, yeah. and make some amylase and then squeeze it down a stocking and make some poo and yeah, all that yeah. kind of stuff. I mean, because that's one of the things that I spoke to some people when I was playing this lesson. And, I mean, we could have... If, if you had it in as well, you could actually get in. I mean, there's, you, it's a little harder to get, but you can get parts of the digestive system, so you can actually get them to have a bit of a look at it. So, oh, so you can get sort of models? Of... No, actual, like, from the, so from a butcher. You can actually get the... <laughs> so it's like heart, lungs and for interest value. I mean, it's pretty amazing. What's saliva? What's the purpose of those enzymes? It breaks down into smaller pieces and then it's, it's easier to swallow it. OK, so write some... It food moist. Excellent, OK, so if you include... Because you're going to be teaching people in a second, so I want some summary information. There's a third idea, which is the level of verbal reinforcement that you offer uh, throughout the lesson is quite low. Um, you don't go in for... Uh, stickers and prizes and tokens and, and lots of well dones. Um, in fact, I counted two uh, towards the end of the lesson. Uh, so, you might think that um, a young man like him uh, would respond to a bit more reinforcement. Yeah, definitely. I'd, no, I'd agree with that. Oh, in the stomach. Good. There. Excellent, yep. Yeah. I think maybe it's like, because I know, like, with other classes, I, I would think that I am actually like that. I know with my, like, my year sevens. I think it's just you get... Um, I guess I've got maybe out of the routine with them. I was, I was quite shocked. He said only two. Well done. So that's pretty bad. So um, I think... Um, I think it's just a bit of more... I guess maybe a bit of awareness. And I think uh, I, I should be able to do more. So maybe one of the things I could do would be to set you a challenge. Every time I see you acknowledge a child or, or let them know that you think they're doing the yeah, right definitely. thing... Yeah, definitely. ..I'm going to put a tick in my book and I want to put 50 ticks in. Two days later, John puts John Bailey's advice into practice in a lesson which continues the theme of digestion. Gloves off. See in the seating plan. Questions on the board. OK. First of all, where are feces stored? Where do you think? Not in your gullet. No, it's a really good attempt, though. Where is it stored? Anu? Rectum. Anu, that's an awesome answer. Well done, yeah. You're um, in your rectum. Brilliant answer. Well done. Um, where are nutrients absorbed? Harris? Um, nutrients are absorbed, absorbed in the intestine. Um, which one, large or small? Small. Ah, oh, very good. Well done. In the small intestine. Moving on to this question. Can I absorb a burger straight into my stomach? You can't um, absorb uh, the actual food, but you couldn't absorb the nutrients. 
That is an amazing answer, one merit, well done. Okay, that is a brilliant answer. I would say that's about level five answer, okay? Really good. Does anyone know the name of the um, chemicals that do this? Ashley. Saliva. Saliva, good, but it contains something. Contains something. Ruby. Enzymes. Enzymes. Bingo, one merit, very good. And that is what we'll come back to today. John's plan to engage learners by introducing more activity into the classroom. Can you hold that end? Adele, I think you're going to be our enzyme, so can you have the scissors? Um, Jamal, can you hold the other end? OK, so what we have here is a long chain molecule. Starch is made up of lots and lots and lots of single molecules joined together. Adele is going to be our enzyme. He's the biological cutter, all right? He could be in saliva. He could be in a small intestine. Yeah, he's in so Adele, can you go and cut in between the molecules? So starting yeah, Adele, Adele, yeah, starting here. Oh, oh, it's dropping. Excellent. Okay. Thank you, Adele. Guys, can you hold these up? Oh. Right. You're, you're the saliva. Jamal, can you just hold that for me? What can these single molecules do that the long molecule couldn't in without calling out anyone within your small intestines? Not sure, Jamal? Uh, uh, so I can absorb the nutrition. Brilliant, they can be absorbed. So these little molecules can move through into your blood, whereas a big molecule is too big. Okay, to ensure here. their understanding, the children are asked to draw a cartoon strip depicting the stages of food absorption. Don't, don't worry about that, that's, that's brilliant. We just need to show the molecules going in through the intestine more being absorbed. How are we going to show that? Tell me in words first. We can draw the intestines. Yeah. And then draw things going through. Okay, go for it. They get smaller and smaller, baby. Okay. And then where are the ones that are going to get through? Um, outside. Yeah. They're the molecules. Yeah. yeah. And then. So they, are they very big or very small? Long. Yeah. And that's the molecules all getting cut up. Yeah. And then, and then that's some of them getting through, and some of them staying. What's the word we say when we say getting through begins with A? Hey. Very good. Excellent. Yeah. And that's a happy molecule. Brilliant, Chelsea. So from the targets that we set from last lesson, I thought um, use of praise was better than using the reward scheme. Um, which was good. Um, I thought behaviour was slightly worse. Um, I thought slightly, slightly less focused. Um, but I thought it was, um, I would say most pupils kind of got the, got the concept. I think the behaviour was ameliorated quite well by, by your praise. You're like everybody, you're a bit reluctant to use sanctions and sanctions often get in the way of things. An idea that you might have with a class like this, just have a shoebox. And um, uh, after you've given someone a warning, say, I'm going to take your name down, write the name on a piece of paper, you just put it in your shoebox, and at the end of a fortnight, you mm -hmm. count out how many... Uh, and then you're able to sit down with somebody and say, I've got 20 of these here, um, but look, other people have got one or two. Let's talk about it. Yeah, that would be quite a nice one too, because then it's not as kind of disruptive to your, to your lesson as well. It would be kind of just something you can do very quickly. There's no way they can come back from you like, OK, so you have given me 20 of those warnings. So, yeah, that would be, yeah. be an interesting one to try.